forget how old I am all the time. And like, I don't know, I'm in my early thirties <laughs> and like, I'm good with just not, not knowing exactly not thinking about it. And I don't even feel like I'm actually one of those people that's like, well, I have an issue with my age. Yeah. Except for like right at my birthday. I'm like, yeah. What do I do with my life? I kind of feel that way too. How old are you? Um, just uh, 32. Okay. Yeah. Which feels oldish. <laughs> like, I feel, like, do you prefer your 30s over your 20s? My hands down prefer mine. It's been rough so far. Yeah. Well, that, okay, never mind. You might be the worst person to ask on that. It's been yeah. not great. Thomas? Thomas, did you dye your hair? What? Did you dye your hair? Okay. Looks like you did. Um, have you seen the show The Undoing? No. It's on HBO. It's oh, a limited series. You don't have it? No. Oh. Maybe it'll be on something else soon. It's I, so good, though. It's reminding me later because I always treat myself in the summer. Yeah. So we have like a whole lot of like two and a half weeks. Yeah. That's why I binge my HBO. Nice. Yeah, it's only six episodes, but it finished last night, and it's so good. It's like a crime drama with uh, Nicole Kidman and Hugh Grant. It's so good. Yeah, I always take screenshots of your book recommendations. Oh, nice. <laughs> <laughs> so good. See ya. Oh, my gosh, this is getting really hot. Yeah, we are. The Joe. No. Yeah, actually. <laughs> a logic name, Joe. I know, hilarious. A logic name, Joe. Yeah. What does that mean? I don't know. I haven't read it yet. Oh. Okay. Um, and I don't know that we'll finish reading it today because the first thing that we're gonna do, uh, once the others get in the room, um. We're going to look at our second essay assignment. I know. You actually have a couple of options for it. Julius, did you see that they posted your yeah. senior photo? <laughs> yeah, yeah, look it up. Yeah, he is. They, they posted one of them, right? Yeah, uh, well, they posted one on the story and they posted one, yeah, I think the same thing. an actual post. Maybe so, because by the time I realized that they did an actual post, the story was gone. Pardon the interruption, I need David Green for dismissal, please. Ah, ah! Yeah, he sucks! <laughs> <laughs> Why? <laughs> He's going where? What a loser, He's going where? That sucks. I did have to write him a recommendation for that, but I got Joe. I never knew if he like got in or whatever. Wait, what? <laughs> <laughs> I would have thought it was a joke if I were David. <laughs> Okay, well, Isaiah is here, but Kayla is not yet. Oh, there she comes. Here oh she my comes. God, 17 pages? Okay, yeah, I, well, I don't know that we'll, I don't know if we'll get through it or not. Maybe. Um, hey, guys. Julius, I don't know. I haven't read it. <laughs> I don't know. I don't think that the narrator is Joe, though. Can I get a narrator? Yeah. Okay, Julius. What? Boy, I feel like this is going to be a disaster. Oh my god. Yes, I'm still here. Yes, I'm still here. We're we're not doing it immediately. Calm down. <laughs> Oh 
my god, what's happening? Oh, they never finished the quote. Oh, they never finished the quote. What? But that's just the they just put one quotation mark at the beginning of it, but it never ends. That's super annoying. Um, let me plug this guy in for just a minute here. Oh, I have too many, too many cords and things happening. Oh, I hate this chair so bad. God dang it. We don't have to read that part, actually. That's just like background. Okay. Um, I'm going to share my screen momentarily. And you guys should pay attention because we're going to go over what the second essay is. Um, I've posted it. So looking at the calendar, actually, um, which let's see if I have this up. Yeah. Um, these two days, the 21st and 22nd, are actually only e learning or anything if we have any weather days. And like at this point, it looks like we probably won't, which means we won't actually have class at all or anything these two days, which is nice. Um, but I'm still going to leave these due dates so that you don't feel like you have to get everything in by that Friday and you know, if you want to go ahead and get that stuff done and turn in before you like leave for vacation, then you can. Um, we have we have three weeks. Oh, why? Why? Why those ones small? Because they just don't have anything due in them except for that. Uh, it'll be a post. This. Oh, the win is that his name? Yeah, it's a last name. Um. But if you notice, essay number two is not due until the 22nd, which is when we leave for break or like officially leave for break. Probably will be done the 18th, but you can have a couple extra days to turn this in. Um, so that's a lot of time actually, which is good because it also means that you have time to get in touch with somebody from the writing center and work with them or you can send me an early draft and I can give you feedback on it, but it's plenty of time. So let's look and see what the assignment actually is because you've actually got a couple of different options for what you can do. How do I look in it? Oh my God. It obviously um, is gonna like look different on your thing. Yes. Can we still send you a draft if we Talk to someone. Yeah, yeah, totally. Um, okay, so this is the requirements for essay two. It's a little bit longer, 900 words rather than eight. Was it 800 or 850 last time? I don't remember. Um, but this, that's not much longer. Make sure that you have a strong argumentative thesis statement that clearly lays out what you'll discuss in your paper. Use the scholarly tone, meaning third person, uh, not super casual. Support your argument with evidence from the text. Include proper MLA citations and works cited page. Um, 12 point font, double spaced, all that good stuff. Create an original title. Um, so this is just kind of further explaining what rhetorical analysis is, which if you're in AP last year, you should be super familiar with that. But you're basically analyzing the choices that an author makes and judging the effectiveness of those choices and focus on how a text presents the argument, not just the argument that they're presenting. Wait, you said argument as a thesis. What? You said make an argument as Yeah. So even when you write a rhetorical analysis, you're still making an argumentative thesis. Oh, okay. Yeah. I feel like there's a weird extra space right there that's bothering me. Um, so what you want to do is carefully examine the text that you are, that you've chosen to talk about. Determine the context. Um, a, lot of, a lot of the time you'll already know the context. Like if you chose one of the prayer breakfast things, that would kind of be your context. Um, who's giving the speech? Who's the audience? When's the speech given? Where is it given? Why is it given? What's the purpose? What do they hope to achieve? Decide if you think that it's successful 
why is this like a typo? Um, did the author or speaker successfully, I didn't do this guy, achieve his or her purpose? Examine the choices that the author makes. Does the author use ethos, pathos, logos? What word choices does he or she make? What examples do they give? Consider the effects of these choices on the audience. Um, so you have, like I said, you have two options here. And I figure most of you will probably choose option number one, um, but I don't know, option two could be interesting. So for option one, you're choosing one of the speeches that we, speeches or letters that we've looked at in unit two, the MLK, Malala, Obama, or Trump. Um, you're gonna choose one of the above text to analyze and then construct an argument concerning whether or not the text is successful in achieving its goal. Um, and, you know, this is just kind of further reiterating what, what it said above. You have to establish what you think the purpose is, um, why is it successful or not, what rhetorical techniques does the author use to achieve their goal. Option number two is a film analysis of a documentary. And it'll tell you which ones you have as an option in a few minutes, but you would analyze the rhetoric of a documentary film, specifically its purpose, audience, persuasive appeals, and effectiveness. So you're kind of analyzing the argument that the filmmaker makes, how they develop it, and whether or not they're successful and how, how they're successful. So the ones that you can choose, and I haven't looked into like if these are streaming somewhere, but I'm sure at least some of them are. Food Inc. Fed up or an inconvenient truth. So what in the world? Why is that there? Some general expectations. Um, it should be analytical rather than mere summary, which I think on some of your posts, I've made comments about that, um, making sure that you're actually analyzing rather than just summarizing what the person said. Um, if you're going to summarize, it should be pretty short and like move on to the point really quickly. Um, the argument should be stated as the paper's thesis or central idea. The thesis should be clear and concise. Um, though these papers should be argumentative, the purpose of such arguments is to persuade the reader which requires some understanding of audience and appropriate language. So the paper should have the authoritative tone expected of a formal essay. And again, um, the personal pronoun I or we or you kind of undermines that a bit. So you're going to want to typically use third person. MLA format, we said that already. Um, this is all the same stuff that was posted in the first one. Um, but I did want to kind of walk through this a little bit because I definitely read through this really carefully when I was grading your essays. Um, and if you were wondering why you got a certain grade, this is a good thing to refer back to, or you can talk to me about it. But, um, you know, as I was reading your papers, I looked at the individual elements for an ASA, a BSA, a CSA, to see like, has this person achieved all of these things? Is this good enough? to be an A paper, and if not, what is it lacking? Does it have enough to be a B paper? So the A essay is going to thoroughly develop a significant and well-considered central idea from a consistent point of view, uh, which also plays into like having a strong thesis. Organization of sentences and paragraphs is effective and smooth transitions connect ideas. The presentation is unified, clear, coherent, and concise, and has varied sentence structure. It demonstrates mastery of formal elements of essay writing and meets all special stipulations of the assignment, which basically that just means all the requirements that were above, you're doing all those things. So a B essay has a sound and clearly stated main idea, which is logically and adequately developed, maybe not as strong as the AESA, but organization is clear, writing is unified, clear, coherent, and concise. There's not a lot of mechanical or grammatical errors, and you're still doing all that stuff that we talked about above. Um, 
the, the B essay is going to lack some of the refinement or sophistication of writing that an A essay would have. Um, C essay, it's stated clearly enough that the reader knows what you're talking about. Um, you can have a few more mechanical and grammatical errors in a C paper, but your paragraph still needs to be unified and developed fairly well. Um, you've at least made an attempt to meet each special stipulation, even if you haven't totally achieved it. Um, but you should demonstrate some competence. Um, a D essay, you've got, it, it's marginal in its presentation of clear, thoughtful, central ideas. So if it's really like disjointed and like kind of all over the place, then that would probably be a D paper. If I saw Trump's speech written out, I probably considered a D paper because we, we said in here it was really disjointed. Like the ideas did not flow well together. He would like jump back and forth between topics. Um, you might have some pretty serious mechanical or grammatical errors. You're probably not going to meet all of the special stipulations. And then obviously the FSA, uh, if you haven't really developed main idea, you haven't organized it very well, you don't have sufficient evidence, your writing's not very sophisticated. Um, I wouldn't expect any of you to make, a, to make an F, um, but just so you kind of have some idea of what you're, what you're working towards. That's kind of why I wanted to go through the A through F stuff. Um, I also wanted to point out, you guys will have gotten this as well. Our tutor sent a thing, sent an email yesterday. Let's meet this week. If you haven't worked with her or another tutor from the Writing Center, now's your chance. You just have to respond to this email. Um, she's got some available hours at the bottom here, but you can chat about, obviously you don't have a draft yet, but you can kind of start brainstorming stuff with her. Um, review issues regarding MLA stuff, discuss strategies to proofread your paper, or look at the feedback I gave you on essay number one and try to kind of apply that to what you're doing now. So that's, she's got this week's appointment times. Um, she did say, send her a copy of your current essay draft. You don't have one yet, um, but I think it would still be fine if you just wanna talk to her about what you're planning to do. So, any questions about that before we move on to Joe? All right, we're ready for Joe. This is it. Announcements. A logic named Joe by someone Leinster, and that's not his real name. Um, okay, how are we doing this? I'm reading quotes. Okay, Julius wants to read the quotes. I will read anything. Okay. So I'm actually going to move closer to you guys. Actually, hang on. So oh good. Screen sharing, what? Oh. Hold me. What did they say? <laughs> my God. Oh my God. He commented on my senior picture. He said, My beautiful boy. And he said, Congratulations. <laughs> my beautiful boy. Oh my That's very oh weird. <laughs> it's, I mean, it sounds more like something a mom would say. To be <laughs> I think Tom's your mom. That's so strange. Okay, I'll share my screen with you guys. Um, you guys are going to have to speak up. Um, but just to point out, this is this is a story. We probably I don't know that we'll get through the whole thing. I mean, we might, but we'll see. 
Um, it says Jenkins on here, Will F. Jenkins. He's just got a pen name. Um, science fiction stories. This was written in the 1960s, I think. I think so. Um, yeah, it, basically it's say like this, all this lead up, this intro is just about how um, this kind of gives us like a vision into the future and like maybe predict some stuff. So we'll see what we think. Um, by the way, what is, we're starting unit three now, but I forgot what it's about. Let me take a look. Like, what do we need to, modern media, what's trending? Um, and I haven't opened the, I haven't opened the post yet. Um, but in this unit, we'll read about some of these issues concerning contemporary media and discuss what the authors have to say. This unit invites considerable debate as it asks us to investigate the effects of modern media on our lives. We will consider the ways in which media shapes how we interact, impacts our ability to affect social change and reinforces stereotypes. So that's kind of some of the stuff that you're going to be thinking about as we read it, because you're going to be writing about that kind of thing. Okay, are you guys ready to read loudly? Right. Okay. It was on the third day of August that Joe came off the assembly line, and on the fifth, Laureen, Laureen, yeah. Laureen would come into town. And that afternoon, I saved civilization. That's what I figure in the town. Laureen is a, is a blonde guy with a curtain about once. And crazy is the word. And Joe is a wonder that I have stored away down in the cellar right now. Wait, don't they say just change the logic that's on your computer? In the intro, it said that? Yeah, Joe is a home computer. Okay. Down in the cellar right now. And the page. No, logic. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you just said! <laughs> Besides that, if he comes to the weather forecast, for whom one of today's days at higher, 
Well, if you look at the interest of the white line, Aaron Garfield is an extension of what you can see when I tell the story. That comes on the screen too. The realism that came from this. The tank is a big, it's a big building that's full of the facts section. Full of the facts and creation and all the recorded telecast that was ever made. And it's hooked in with all the other tanks over the whole thing. And it's hooked in with all the other tanks all over the country. And anything you want to know or see or hear, you punch for it and you get it. Very convenient. Also, it does a math program and keeps books and acts of its important tanks. This is just a genre and key week leader. We're going to add. Wow, you're fired, dude. <laughs> <laughs> advice to love. Love one. Uh, like, sad about romance. Like maybe broken hearted. Yeah. The only thrown in. The only thing that won't do is tell you exactly what your wife <laughs> when she said, Oh, you think so, do you? In that particular kind of voice. Logics don't work good on men. Okay. <laughs> How was that? Uh, only on things that make sense. This is, is LeBron. <laughs> I'm sure that he does. Logics are all right, they change civilization and the hydraulic plants, and all the kind of the cards in the circuit. And Joe could have been perfectly normal logic, even some family or four other from wearing up when he's getting to the home for him. But something went wrong in the same time. It was just something so small that precision gauge didn't measure it, but it made him yell and injured him. But if he didn't know it, or maybe being logical, he figured out that if he was to show some assistance from the other logic, he would trap him, which would have been a brilliant idea. Or something in the world. Oh my god. But anyhow, he cut off the assembly line and he went through the regular tests about anybody screaming surely on finding out what he said. And he went right on and he was duly installed in the home of Mr. Thaddeus Cornelich at 119 East 7th Street, second floor front. So far, everything is serene. For I'm kind of glad that we're like, it sounds like he's about to tell a story. It's been so like stream of consciousness y yeah. so far. I was kind of shocked. I think almost I don't know what happened. Yeah. The, install, the installation happened late Saturday night. Sunday morning before Lambovich did was turned on, turned them on in the senior city shortly. Around noon, the parents pulled them away from from him and piled piled them in the car. Then they come back in the house for the lunch with the house and one of the kids sneaked back down, sneaked back and they found him hung in the seat of the shooting store and he was killed. They dragged him out and went off, but they left Joe hanging on. That was me. Nothing happened since the scene in the afternoon. But it wasn't the calm before the storm. Marie wasn't in China, but she was hungry. I pictured Joe sitting there all day by himself, loving his meditative thing. He did do line city shows in his department for a while, but I think he went kind of remote control of the storm and the tank. <coughs> and there's the breeze. That's not good. No. There ain't any facts. It's just because my mouth is so dry, it's a lot of things that work. Oh, do you want a red solo cup of water? Okay. Oh, you have soda? Yes, I do. No, the water is flavorless. I, mean, I can't, I can't get it to this with you. It's better than like warm water. Yeah. Still, I have no taste here. That cap, that cap that's what I thought you were about to say. Go on. <laughs> he is interested to in some major show on Netflix. Oh, uh, yeah. They do an episode on water. Oh. Yeah. I've heard that show is very, like, uplifting. I've heard it's really uplifting and, like, kind of heartwarming. That's what I've heard. I haven't seen it. Uh, it's really weird. It feels weird because he's, like... <laughs> 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 
Because, like, it used to kind of do like a documentary type thing. Yeah. But it doesn't feel like it. Feel like, like, yeah. So it feels fake. Zach Efron. Is Close. It like yes. Whenever I pulled up my hair, it's a little cup of water. Jake came out of the bathroom and he just kind of looked at me. He was walking and he just keeps me eye contact. That's unnerving. What kid was this? Yeah, he was like, I Weird. I think he's adorable, but that's a weird thing to say. <laughs> It's weird that Joe Sides rolls his beef now. He's what? It's weird that Joe Sides rolls his beef now. Oh. He's the same kid that's in the full night at the library. No. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> Anyways, now you can yell. Um, Back to Joe. Did I end on Joe? Um. He's like kind of no control. There ain't any fact. Yeah, I think you're on there ain't any fact sentence. There ain't any fact that can be said to be a fact, right? He's on the data. What? Lessons for the technician that they cannot be putting on a new data. Joe has plenty of material to work on, and he must have started working right off the bat. Joe visits me checking the work on the new data. Joe is not going to be able to do that. Pinochle. What's Pinochle? I don't really know. Some kind of old timey game. Pinochle. Where does it end? Uh, uh, 
Hmm. No, I'm pretty sure it's just uh, it's a gag, of course, and then it's what the gag. Uh, yeah. Sorry. It's a gag, of course. But the guy goes over. He punches keys. In theory, a sensor block is going to come on and scream and say, "Should we really?" Public policy forbids this service. Now, a sensor block is free to be asking detailed things about detailed questions about things that you don't even know. Then there are other meetings that you can see. It's still the punches. How can I get rid of my wife just for the fun? The screen is blank for half a second and it comes to a stop. Service question. Is she blonde or brunette? He hollers to us and we come up. He punches us. Blonde. <laughs> There's another thing blonde. Yeah, the screen says. Hexamino acetine. Is a constituent. It's a constituent. Constituent. <laughs> As a constituent of a green shoe polish. Takes home a, oh wait, this is, oh wait, no. Is this not? Hexamino amino acetine. <laughs> Take home a frozen meal, including dried pea soup. Color the soup with green shoe polish. What? It will appear to be green pea soup. Hexamino cryo amino acetine. <laughs> That's not how computers work. Also, have you ever had I haven't, and I feel like I want to look it up now, well, but I, that's true. I'm brunette. <laughs> Lucky me. I'm not even blonde. No. She's, I would say she's blonder than I am, but it's just like lighter brown. Maybe so. You just get sick. Yeah, but I like no matter what you look up, it's not going to be like you can't be convicted of murder. Another Kylo amino Hey, you got it. Something's happened. Logics are given detailed instructions. <clears throat> given detailed instructions for why murder. <laughs> Check your sensor sensor circuit. But quick. <laughs> close, I find it. Well, what do I know? I got Claire Sonic's instinct on the over on one row agate, a drone charge to punch for something on the logic. Screen says. Announcing new and improved logic service. If you want to do something and don't know how to do it, ask your logic. And the room says, I'll do it. I'll do it. <laughs> he cancels his first punch and fumbles around and says, How can I keep my wife from finding out I've been burnt? And the screen says, Fine. Buy a bottle of drink. Buy a bottle of Tranine hair shampoo. It is harmless but contains a detergent which will neutralize ethyl, alcohol, and methane. Take one teaspoonful for each liter <laughs> of hundred proof you have to This guy was plenty classic. <laughs> <laughs> to go stagger next door. Just enough to stagger next door and obey instructions. Five minutes later, he was full sober and writing down the information so he couldn't forget it. His new aunt was big, he got rich off that new aunt. He patented soda, the drink that makes happy moments. This is too sad. <laughs> that was a quote, dude! Frank! You're dumb! <laughs> dude, He's dude. taking your lines. <laughs> oh my god, man. Can't look. Will you blind or something? Yes, that's why I'm blind. <laughs> Soba, the drink that makes happy homies. You can pop off any sound to see if it's going to be like a new girl homie. 
Sure. I just wouldn't think that many. At least 55, I guess. Some of them, they never did figure out how they were going to run. Yo, he's not exploring in the tank and close to me like a couple of logic. It's zero. He's not exploring in the tank and close to me like a couple of logic. It's supposed to be. Like the logic is supposed to be. But only when you try it. He wants all sorts of the stuff he's wanted to do. It's plain, perfect fine. American and Catholic men, counterfeit and thin, new and Dutch industry, the kind of personality. He must have been pointing out his components. He must be the functioner, well, mother belonged to himself at a poor land of the earth, who will ride in his boat and on and on. They come back at seven o'clock. The kids all happily wear out with their afternoon fighting each other in the car. Their kids were split to two. Their folks put them into bed and sat down with them. They saw Joe scream deeper in the meditation from one subject to another. An old man for a lamp that just was enough had had it enough. Had had it too. Had had enough excitement for one day. He turned his way off. And at that instant, the patterns of realism that get him turned on, snapped off, all the office and director stories stopped watching as much as screamed at it. The peace descended on the day. For everybody knows, but for me, Lorraine came to this town. I often think the dog is fervent. fervent. Yeah, it should be fervently, but... Fervently that she didn't marry me when I thought I wanted her. In the intervening years, she had progressed. She was blonde and fatal to begin with. She had gotten blonder and fatal at her. had four husbands. No. And had had four husbands. And the one that was scheduled for homicide. And had Jesus, and had acquired an air of enthusiasm and self consciousness. That's just a sketch of a bad plan. For me, was not the kind of form of girlfriend you liked to be. You liked to have turned up in the same town as your wife. But she came to town on Monday morning and she turned you right down to the middle of those separate spasms of our The poor Leander's kids were turning on me. I got those details later and found a piece in the bed. Henry lost his time and some of these blocks in the middle. If you want to do something, ask your logic. Every time they were turned on for months and months. And more than that, when people hunt for the morning noon, they go full account of the previous afternoon and dinner. They took it in a frame of mind and said, in party. One bright color of the moon, how can I make Two, what's going on there? <laughs> How can I make a perpetual emotion? He has logic sputters while and then comes up with a set of these in a charming mood in the middle of the year. The wheels are 
in an incremental or time element. It's practically and practically it's protected in the Another one asks for the secret of time being in the The logic breaks back and sees in the data space and integrates with strictly packed things. It does take so much power that you can't make enough profit to stop being over you, but that pays off later. <coughs> and from the fact that for a couple of years, the company that believes will turn enough new and new things and mob jobs are getting off, you get that saving on some part. And all for the speed that over any money bond. Why are they much of ever inquired into for such practical reasons? Go than a lot of technical stuff. We'll stop before long. We don't have 10 minutes left. Let me jump more another one. Education is there. None of my kids are in the community space. They go by a class while it's in the system. The answer to the service is vigorous, vigorous, lavish, and continuous. For the kids and teenagers who wander into mills or come back to the community society, it's not that way. There are certain facts that mean that their lives are going to be doing more in respect. Long to be more in respect, and in those facts, you can start with their lives and being great. So when a woman dies, how can I tell if all the world is good or good? If her logic tells her, you should figure out how many millions got started that night in all the news. All this while, Joe goes on with loving action. Shelf before land of escape and man makes comments, taking one circuit while the other is being most controlled to the planet so that all the other logics can give people what they ask for and thereby raise, raise and air return. I like that. Mary Hell. Some of what's in more. And when Maureen goes on to finish the service, she turns on the logic in her hotel room, probably to see the weak stylist for you. And the logic says these words. She wants a dinner so bad. Ask for logic. So Maureen happily looks at him, comes to the work she's using last two years, trying to figure out something to ask. Mary knows all about the whiskey she did. She had four husbands and shot one. Why is her? How? She knows this is not good, so she punches. How can I find Dustin? Okay, you die. That's what she used to call me. She gets the service question. Oh, that's breaking the fourth wall. Isn't that breaking the fourth wall? What? Okay, guy. Yeah, I guess like, so. Because he's like, it's assuming someone would make fun of him. Yeah. That's cool. I like that. Mm-hmm. He's saying, okay, guy, because of his name, she's calling him, she's calling him Ducky. And he's assuming someone would be like, ah, Ducky, what a stupid name. So he's like, okay, guy. Mm-hmm. And he's like, okay, guy. And then that is what she calls him. Okay, guy. And that is what she used to call me. She gets to the same question. Is Ducky known by anyone in the world? So she gives me my regular name. Oh, it is my regular name. So she gives me my regular name. My, she gives my regular name. Yes, sir. To me, my. So she gives my regular name. <laughs> my regular name. And the logic can't find it. Because my logic ain't listed under my name on the count of finding it in the name we don't want to be tested for my own. Mary any data flow from the unclosed list of logics. It is supposed to change so often. Like a guy gets blasted and tells the guy to call him up. And I'm getting so referred to as the code chain before she reaches the spot on the street. Well, Joe is stuck. But probably the first question on logic says that he's living in anchor. How can I locate that? Well, why is a problem? So Joe boots over the log. Going to the land of the street, the animated comic book. He would have won between the six and seven of my knees and pocket and just tried to show something. Then he gets to do it. The lady is screaming, suddenly flashing. Logic special service will work upon your question. Please punch your logic designation and leave it turned on. You will be called there. Let's, let's stop there.
Um, this is cool. This is, I like this. It's weird. It's such a weird one because uh, number one, I'm like, why has he got this like country affectation for like a really techy thing? <laughs> I believe like you. Weird... <laughs> yeah, kind of. It's it's also like making predictions about. I mean, yeah. none of this stuff is like that far off the mark of what we actually have. Yeah. Like, yeah, I don't think it'll tell you how to murder your husband, or at least not exactly like that. Yeah, no. <laughs> you can look up how to murder somebody. I remember one time looking up how long it took to dig a grave <laughs> and like I was like oh, I hope nobody's like going through my search history or anything. But it's, it's pretty much everything. Yeah. I feel like it, it, it gives off uh, the giver vibes because it's like if they made a movie about it, it would seem like that. Oh, with yeah. like the utopia but like it like has weird backgrounds. Yeah. It's also like a clockwork orange. If Georgia Orwell wrote the clockwork orange. I can see it. Okay, finish reading it for homework because we'll talk about it tomorrow. And I'll see you guys later.